welcome, welcome, Soletics Way. Let's get right to it. Why you must watch this video if your child plays sports. It's critical that one, you choose the best sport for your child that they enjoy and they can thrive in. So there's some keys to that. It's not about the parent, it's not about you, it's not about anyone else, but what I wanna provide is just here's some tips to help you figure out which that might be, whatever sport you might be. It could be something that's extremely popular, uh, your major sports, you know, for men, that's your baseball, your football, your basketball, your soccer. For women, again, that could be your soccer, your volleyball, your softball, your basketball. So, but there's a variety of sports, some excellent action sports, some sports that you've never heard of, and other popular sports like tennis, um, equestrian, horse riding. There's a lot of sports out there that are, that can meet each child's specific talents and likes. And that's the key. So exposing them to a variety, letting your child explore different options beyond what you or their friends play. Um, this could involve attending games, watching sports on TV, or introductory classes. And then discussing with them their likes and dislikes about each sport. Because the key is if you desire and your child desires to succeed, is they're gonna wanna like the sport. Moreover, they need to have a passion for what they do in order to reach those elite levels of competition. And it's all about the enjoyment. And if the child and the parents and those around them are enjoying it, now you create a recipe for success. The next is consider their unique preferences. Individual or team sports. I have a background in both uh, team and individual. There's benefits to both. The team sports tend to have, be, have your bigger monetary options. Um, because you look at them, they include a variety of different people. People watch team sports differently. They're actually marketed differently, so there's a lot of opportunity. But on the flip side, individual sports like golf, tennis, um, some action sports, those are very beneficial too. If you can, you can do those for a lifetime is the key. You don't have to stop because no one's pulling the rug from under you, you can actually decide when or if you ever want to stop. Uh, some children thrive in collaborative environments. So when you look at team versus individual, some children will thrive in that collaborative environment where other children, they like to be able to express themselves. Um, surfing, being able to really express themselves. You think about rock climbing, that's just all you. And, and some personalities are really suited for that. I've, tend to, I've played both and I tend to enjoy the individual sports because it's all on you. Um, and you are able to really uh, maximize your talent. sports that that require focused gun uh, shooting sh at a shooting range, right? There's a variety of different sports of which, um, and that's a very serious one, but a variety of different sports and activities that can suit each child's uh, traits, personal traits. Their physical traits, right? What do they have physically? Are they athletically? Do they have length? Are they big? You know, basketball tends to be for men, it's more of a length sport. So no matter how talented and gifted you are, it tends to favor those that are taller. Um, 
and you will, you know, you see that now where you can, you know, have a Steph Curry or a Trey Young or Chris Paul, um, but then those guys, Isaiah Thomas, those guys are are really far a few between. Their skill set is very high, and there's a lot of players that, believe it or not, that have a high skill set. But basketball, specifically the NBA, tailors those with length. You know, over six 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 seven. Um, and then if you are a little bit shorter, you have that massive athleticism like a guy like Russell Westbrook. But then again, it's still a length sport. Imagine if Russell Westbrook was, you know, as tall as LeBron James or Kevin Garnett, right? So just be taking a look at that and understanding that some sports, how they may suit players. Not that you don't choose it, but just understanding if you do choose it, okay, you have to work on your skill set. Right? If, you, if you're if you a shorter player playing basketball, having a high skill level is just extremely important. And then looking at from a standpoint of their signs of enthusiasm, observing their curiosity and their level of engagement for the sport, paying attention to what they talk about, what they're excited about, right? I know that for myself here and my, my daughters talk about what they're excited about. It's it's awesome but because you as a parent, you want to do the right thing for them and you don't want to ever feel like you're forcing them. But then you hear them talk about something and they're extremely excited uh, about what they do. So, you know, that's that's great, you know, as a parent to hear that because, you know, you have them on a path that they're passionate about. And so... Um, not pressuring early on because, you know, again, in what I know for for fact, everyone thinks they can choose the athletes under 20. And the only way you're able to choose that, the only sport you, you have an easier way of doing that is basketball because if the guy's 6'9", you know, yeah, there there's a ceiling that he can push through the high school ceiling. He can push through you know, the collegiate ceiling if he's seven foot, just based on his length. So, uh, but in most sports, oftentimes what I've seen, the the, 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 right, the players, the competitors that you see early on, they're not necessarily the ones that you see, you know, transfer to the professional ranks and really do well. Um, and oftentimes, you, now you have a lot of companies investing in these these athletes early on and, and that's a good thing but even still it doesn't guarantee success oftentimes when they have that red carpet rolled out for them it, it could do more harm so um it depending on the athlete but most athletes that have that you'll see um a lot of times that doesn't really work out uh, because they have you know they've had that red carpet the whole time they've been dealing with an advantage their whole time and i know this is something that a lot of not a lot, but people disagree with because maybe they're in that position where, you know, um, their child or they've been that person, but just, just look at it. Most of greatness comes from, you know, it comes from a little bit of struggle. So uh, if you are, you know, that parent that is struggling, that parent that, um, you know, is is really thinking about how can you make it happen for your child, know that you're in the right place. And um, and know that that's not a limiter on your child's success. Typically, you know, that's a good sign when you got.